What is history? This is pretty simple to answer. History is the study of past events. It is a written record of the past. This is why we sometimes discuss the prehistorical or before there were written records. How do we study history? Studying history is about interpretation. Historians take documents from the past and interpret them to understand why things happened and the consequences of historical events. Historians might interpret events differently depending on their own biases or even the time they live in. This means that the author of your textbook may have a different interpretation of, his, of a historical event than I do. This does not mean that either interpretation is right or wrong as long as these interpretations still line up with the evidence. It simply means that we interpreted the sources differently. Or it could mean that we picked different sources to study. For instance, historians used to only look at the writings of the elite. But now we look at the writings of common soldiers, women, slaves, and anyone else who set pen to paper. Why do we study history? Studying history is not just about memorizing a bunch of dates and facts. That is not very useful and often distorts the broader picture of time periods. Instead, it is about understanding why what occurred in the past transpired and using the study of these events to gain a better understanding of different cultures, societies, and the world around us. So the saying goes, those who do not know history are doomed to repeat it. And while this may be true, this is not the only reason to study history. Understanding history helps to put the present in context. We call this a historical perspective. What is a historical perspective? During presidential elections, I often hear people say that they have never seen such a nasty race or there was more mudslinging in this race than ever before or they wish modern presidential races were as respectful as those in the past. If you have a historical perspective, you understand that the election of 1828 was one of the most bitter presidential races in American history, with a candidate's mother being called a common prostitute, his wife being called a bigamist, and him being accused of murder. His supporters accused his opponent of supplying a virgin for the entertainment of the Russian Tsar. Today I often hear how this country has never been so divided. Because I have a historical perspective, I understand that during the presidency of Andrew Jackson, there was also a lot of division and political strife from which our country recovered. Also the greatest division in our history resulted in the Civil War. What we have today does not come close to this. Many times I have students say that things are just as bad as they have always been, but a historical perspective reminds us of the privileges we now enjoy. For example, I can vote. That right is less than 100 years old. We should also remember how far we have come since the Jim Crow South, the marches on Washington, and the murders of civil rights activists. I'm not saying that we have completed all the work we need to do in granting civil rights to all Americans, but we have made impressive progress. If we can understand our nation's past, then it often gives us a greater understanding of current events and provides some comfort as we realize that our nation has recovered from much worse events in the past. It also points a way forward so that we can improve the future for all Americans. Do's and don'ts of studying history. Don't pick a side and only look at it through that perspective. It is easy to look only through the eyes of those that we can relate to and identify with or through the eyes of the group that we perceive as the victim. We should, however, try to look at history from all angles. Do Try to look at it from all sides, even if you don't identify with that side, even if you don't like that side, you should try to look at history through the eyes 
of each player. Don't study history with a judgmental attitude. The point of history is not to wag your finger at those in the past, but rather to understand what happened, why it happened, and the consequences. Do try to understand why things happened, both good and bad. Don't judge those in the past based upon the time period in which you live. You have the benefit of living in the 21st century. But if you judge people in the 1700s and the 1800s on what you know and believe today, that is unfair to what they experienced. Do try to understand the time period in the historical context of their own time. How does learning to study history benefit us? It gives us an understanding of the world we live in. Having a historical perspective in regards to the modern day often lets us know that things aren't nearly as bad as they appear and will not always be this way. Studying history helps us to learn valuable skills that will benefit us in future jobs and in life. Skills such as research, analysis, critical thinking, and problem solving can help us in many areas of life and work and all can be developed through studying history.